Kokushibo Upper Moon One. So I'll never get tired of drawing this guy. So they released a couple of images of him, and we seen him in the we saw him in the first episode of season three. So exciting. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So like full face focusing on his eyes, right? So we're gonna start with the middle two eyes. Center point of my page is about here, right? So and the middle eyes are sort of below halfway. Okay. So let's give this a go. So we will go tear duct, right? We'll just do a little curved line like that. And then this will go up this way. A big arch. Like that, right? And the eyelashes kind of like spike down his top eyelashes here. And they come to like a spike on the top. And then it goes back around. This will all be colored black, right? And gets thin down here. Right, so this is just like dark inside. Right, and that tear duct will sort of be in here. So from there, we got the bottom eyelid line, so it kind of just curves around. Like so, and then he has like some stretch lines or something around his eyes. Like that. His iris in Demon Slayer, they do these kind of angled sort of circles for the eyes. Kind of makes it easier to draw, in my opinion. You know, you don't have to worry about it being like a perfect circle or anything. This kind of thing. And then in his eyes, he's got these lines that come all around sort of the eye, right? So they go this way. This is the eye where he has the writing in it as well. So I'll come back to that. We'll just get the eyes drawn in first. We'll get like these two and then we'll add our lettering. Seems to be some little sort of lines around the edge as well. Right, so we'll go over and do the other eye, right? Well, we'll add, a, we'll add an eyelid line here first. Okay, and then we'll just do the other eye. So tear duct again, same thing again, right? Up around like so. Add this sort of spike. Color it black. Add the bottom eyelid. Tear duct. And then do this eye shape. His iris. Like so, and the lines all around. Right, so I'll do some of those little dashes and then we'll do the lettering that they have inside his eye. I'll do my best anyway. We try our best on this channel. So, okay. So we got this line coming down and then the line going across. And then we've got what looks like a sort of a zigzag thing. So it's kind of calligraphy, right? So it's kind of difficult. So we'll just draw the basics and then, right, like that. And you kind of just like thicken it up on like, top there's another blob coming across here so this must be the upper symbol is it this is kind of the same on all the 
the uppers. Okay, so kind of like that. That's not bad. And we'll go over and do the other one. So in the middle, we've got a line that goes across there. And then there's something on top, like an upside down T with a line going through. You like that. Then you gotta add these blobs to them, blobs on the end. This is calligraphy, so and it's done with a brush really. So you gotta kinda make it look like it was drawn with a brush, you know. Not easy. Okay. Right. And then, so he's got like some other lines, to, eyelid lines and stuff in here. Stress lines coming around the eye. Not that he's stressed or anything, but that's basically his first two eyes, right? So we'll do the top set, the bottom set, and then nose and mouth. So just above tear duct here, right? Tear duct here. We'll just, I'll get the tear ducts marked in just so we get an idea, right? Right. So then eye curves around. Little spike on the corner. Color it black. Bottom eyelid. Tear duct. And then his iris, sort of in here again, sort of angled line. And these eyes are just like pupils, so. Color look black. Add the lines around the edge. So sorry now if I move fast, but his eyes are kind of quite detailed, so they are probably the coolest eyes nearly in all of anime, I would say. What do you think? And then he's got these veins inside here. Just these little sort of tree branch like shapes coming around like that. And then eyelid line he doesn't have any eyebrows Look at those stress lines around the corner of his eye and then we do the same over here keep going it's a marathon not a sprint and then that's colored black bottom of his eyelid And then iris pupil and then details inside going around sort of like the hands of a clock you know your radial pattern veins eyelid line these little lines on the corner of his eye and then we go down and do it all again so <laughs> We start here and then down around. This one kind of goes off his cheek, so you can't really see. You can't see the spike on the end, right? So it's just like, it's like a dark eyelid line like this. There's no little flick up on the end. There probably is around the side of his cheek, but we can't see it. And then tear duct, and then bottom eyelid line. There, so these don't meet. Right, so it kind of stops there. So a little bit different on these eyes. 
and then iris angled pupil details veins then right and then sort of lines around the eye and then we go over and do the other eye put our black Bottom of his eye. Iris. People have problems drawing two eyes. So I imagine six eyes is like crazy to some people. Like so, color this black. And then details, details inside. And then the veins, forgot about them. Okay, so his nostrils are just in between these eyes. Ooh, didn't cover that black. Okay, nostrils here, right? So we got like a long one, and then a slightly shorter one. And then this has like a little dark shadow just in there. And then he has these hatching lines on the side of his nose. It's common enough in Demon Slayer. And then his mouth, just down here. It's kind of like a stretched out letter M. So you go across, down in the middle, back up, and back down. All right, so it's like, I always think of it like a stretched out letter M. Right, and then we have that triangular sort of shadow under his bottom lip. And then the chin itself. There. So this goes all the way around those eyes, right? So you got his jaw. Curving up like that. Try and get it even. So, and then his hairline, so just up here, right here. So he's got these spikes that come across his hair. So we've got this sort of V here first. And then these will spike. It's kind of like Tanjiro's hair. Spike that way. Okay. And these hair that hangs down. Like that. And this spikes back up. And then on this side. Spike back up. And he's all the hair that hangs down his head, right? So we've got like a line here. Here. We can just see his ears inside, underneath his hair. Oh yeah, and the scar, we can't forget the scar, or the mark. Starts like that, back into the eye, around here. Comes all the way down his face. Like 
like so. And there's some on his face here as well. Okay, so the rest of his hair. So his fringe spikes coming out here. Right, a bit spiking out this way. Kind of hangs down over his shoulder like that right same on this side pretty much doesn't have to be the exact same you know you can do some variation if you want Right, and then his head kind of just, he's got like hair that goes back around that way, right? Kind of like bumps around the back of his head. It's all tied up at the back. There's more that comes down behind his shoulders. So we'll just do the neck and shoulders and stuff here. So neck. down there and there's collar around like so behind his hair neck muscles going down this way and we they draw in a shadow underneath his chin Oh yeah, and the, he has more of that scar on his neck. Or the mark. And we can see some of his shoulder just going that way. And... See some, a little bit more maybe. We'll put it here, just going that way. Right, and then he has more hair spikes just coming down from the top of his head. Let's see, so we'll go here, right, so this way. This might just disappear up the top. Keep going down here. Okay, so it's like a double layer of hair. Right, and then, so kind of like Tanjiro's hair, right? He has this red and black coloring all over his hair, all around the edge. So it's black in the middle and it has this highlight, right? So you just got to go around each section of the hair, basically, right? So this is going to be red around here. It's red all in here, black around oh yeah and we have some texture lines just underneath his hair there and you just keep doing this
So inside all these sections is just going to be red. So I'm literally just going around each one. I'm not sort of being too careful about it. That. And that's it. That's how to draw Kokoshibu or Upper Moon One. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Okay.